Fed Tentacles Smash Mouth, I'm Jake Turner. Continuing on now with week 13, we have another angry squad that's just looking for a win. Thank goodness they're back at Heinz Field. You know I'm talking about the really Pittsburgh Steelers who this week, I, you know what, I'm going to make a guarantee. This week, they're going to write this shit. I guarantee you that after they win this game, they're only going to have one loss for the last five, four games. Not kidding. The last four games, it will be three and one, and they will be back in the playoffs. They will get that wild card spot, and they will be back in the playoffs. Big Ben is going to play this week. And anybody thinking that the locker room is divided or anything, think again. This is the Pittsburgh Steelers. This is Mike Tomlin's hard-nosed personality that brings this locker room together every week. And the Pittsburgh Steelers are going to show that this is a dangerous wild card team. Let me tell you something. Big Ben's back, baby. 18 touchdowns and 11 picks this year. 2,800, uh, excuse me, 2,827 yards for the season. His two wide receivers have at least 840 yards a game. San Antonio Holmes, 838 yards, two touchdowns. Hines Ward, the toughest, the toughest wide receiver in the NFL. Mark my words. 845 yards, five touchdowns. He is a tough man. I don't want to hear this dirtiest player ever. There is no such thing as a dirtiest player. There is such thing as toughness. And Pittsburgh is going to bring back that toughness. They're taking on the inconsistent, the laughable, the embarrassing. Oakland Raiders. The Raider fans have put on a billboard asking Al Davis to hire a GM. You know, that's a pretty good idea. You might actually get some consistency. You might actually get some teamwork. You might actually get a team ethic. You might actually get something going for that black hole. Let me tell you something. I love the black hole. I love the Raider fans. They're aggressive. They're tough. And if you dare try to defy them, they will make you pay for it. You gotta love Oakland Raider fans. Just not the football team. Why do I say that? They're the worst defense in the, uh, excuse me, worst offense in the NFL. Bruce Gukowski's in. Please. They got five touchdowns, 12 interceptions. That's between Russell and Grakowski. Pathetic. Darius Haywood Bay, hey, $38 million. It was definitely worth it, Raider fan, Raiders. Come on. One touchdown? Your third round draft pick in Lewis Murphy is having a better productive season than he is. It's disgusting. It is sad. I don't understand why Greg Ellis and Richard Seymour are underachieving here. These guys were productive at Oakland and New England throughout their careers. Excuse me, New England and Dallas. Greg Ellis was at Dallas. It is insulting that the Raiders are a football team. It is insulting that Al Davis still runs this squad. Listen to your fans, Al. They want a GM. They want some consistency. They want a team back. They want that team that they were cheering on back in the 1970s. I mean, George Atkinson, Jack Tatum, the list goes on and on. Kenny the Snake Stabler, I mean, John Madden and his coach. I mean, there were so many great things about the Raiders. Now, nowadays, they're laughable. You can see it on the pop culture all the time on The Tonight Show or whatever, ripping on you day after day. Get it through your head, Al. I know you're a good owner. Before. Get it together, man. Find what you had. Just win, baby. Not going to happen this week. It's another trap game for Pittsburgh. But Pittsburgh, it's done reeling. The buck stops here. Pittsburgh wins this one with defiance. With Rashard Mendenhall pounding that rock. 700, uh, excuse me, over 784 yards, four touchdowns for Mendenhall. He's going to pound that rock until there's no tomorrow. They got one of the worst rush defenses in the NFL. 31st. Goodness gracious. And I mean, Darius, and I mean, excuse me, Darren McFadden, and not even doing anything. He's going against the best rush defense in the NFL. It's not going to happen. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh rocks this one 30 to 16.